Greetings, mortals, and welcome back to Dishonored. This is just a tiny little update, and this is being recorded the day that this uploads, way, way after everything. I am so sorry that there is no mic this entire video. There's a lot of random cuts for me trying to desperately make it go from an hour and 15 minutes to, at least right now, I think it's 37. It's probably going to be a bit more with this, though. I am sorry, I didn't realize that our mic was muted until the end of the video, and I didn't realize for how long it was muted until I went to go check, and since then I have been referring to this episode as the dreaded no mic episode. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry, it's my fav- it would have been my favorite, too. Uh, I usually would just put a read description thing, but this is a bit too much. I, I, I felt like I just had to say this, I, I'm sorry. I hope you enjoy the video anyway, and I'll see you guys later. For your next trial, you must move unseen. Stay in shadow and avoid the light. Cross to the other side of the room without attracting notice. What is it? Forgive me, but Corval has escaped us. A sentry glimpsed him in the streets near the green refinery. Very well. I suspect that in time he will come to me here. Now please leave me and be vigilant. So you've lost it all. Ruined at last. Lord Regent. Royal Spy Master. Hiram Burroughs. You small, worried man. You'll never know how many times I've thought about trying to get close to you again. Just to put a piece of sharp metal in your eye. But now there's no need. You've been taken down by the same apparatus that gave you life to begin with. Laws and courtrooms and the mighty swell of public outrage. Good riddance to you, sir. So many schemes you had, and so many contracts. How many people did I kill for you? None like the last. None like her. I'd give back all the coin if I could. No one should have to kill an empress. And now we fight the duel that no two others could fight against the ticking of the clock. <laughs>
fighting. Were the men who poisoned you and left you to die? Or your dead empress? Go on. Strike as if you mean it. You know I killed her. Fool! We're of the same breed, you and I. We kill for others. You think I'm your enemy? I've never lied to you. Hit harder. You're not fighting Lady Boyle now. This is who protected the others. You've got to strike faster if you want my blood. This is who protected the Empress. You've got to strike faster if you want my blood. Hit harder! You're not fighting Lady Boyle now. I have one more surprise for you. I ask for my life. When I killed your empress and took her daughter, something broke inside me. Now I see the design on the back of your hand, the mark of the outsider himself, and I remember all I've done. The years of waiting for the right moment to step forward from an alley and drive a knife between the ribs of some noble. All the money exchanging hands from one rich bastard or another. Killing for one of them one year, then being paid to kill him in return the next. But what have I accomplished? More than you have, or much less. I remember bending at the shrines, listening as the outsider whispered that I was going to change things, that I was somehow important. It felt good. It made me believe I was powerful. Now I want nothing but to leave this city and fade from the memory of those who reside here. I've had enough killing. The men you worked for asked you to kill for them, but you found some other way. You took a path I could have followed, but did not. So my life is in your hands. Make your choice. And you choose mercy. Extraordinary.
I'll do right this time. Uh, a fresh start. This time. Uh, uh. Goodbye, my boy. Strange. You don't look ill. You're not a victim, not a guard. A spirit from the void, maybe. Another wagon comes every few minutes. How many do you think have died? They say a third of the city. I wouldn't have believed it, but I saw the mound of corpses myself. They dropped us in it. I don't blame them. I know why they do it. But I only wanted to die at home. What the hell are you? Are you some new kind of guard? Like a tall boy? Can't be. Doctor, maybe? Uh, just kidding. Assassin, maybe. Passing through, huh? Hoping to catch a ride on the plague wagon. A few come through here trying. And they fall and break their necks. But that won't stop you. You're almost there. It's pretty easy to get to the rooftops from here. You'll see the way. What do you want from me? To rob me? Looking for a quick roll in the mud? To rescue me? Well, I am not going anywhere. I came here all on my own, and I'm staying right here. Do you... It's better out there? I hate to break it to you, but this is it. This is Dunwall. What you see right here. Flooded district, estate district, anywhere else. It's all gonna be the same soon. Don't you have a plague wagon to catch?
plague wagons running every couple of minutes now. We just need to get on top of it and ride out of here. Okay, great, smart guy. And what do we do when we hit the... City's dead. Here somewhere. So what is going on? Possible. The now they're saying the Lord Regent started to look around carefully. I'm gonna find you at some point. Come on.
Wish I had a last swig of whiskey. You're the mask guy's been taking down all the lords and ladies. No way through this gate unless you got the sewer key. Only one place to get that key, and I wouldn't go there. Not for all the gold in Dunwall Tower. Not again. Maybe you could pull it off, though. Something attacked us in the distillery. It used the rats. I know it sounds crazy. And then it run back under the streets. So we come down here to kill it, Slackjaw leading the way. Went bad. I barely crawled out. Don't know what happened to Slackjaw. He had the sewer key, though. nasty fat and sing it, and carve a pretty song on your bones. Hey! Someone kill this crazy witch! I can make you rich! Quiet now. Granny needs to concentrate. Don't kill me. Granny Rag, stop. Stop what you're doing. Can't we at least talk about it? My knives gotta be nice and sharp to cut into your skeleton, Slackjaw. Nice and sharp. There's my love. Are you ready to help get Slackjaw's bones? Granny has some birthday gifts for you. I've been saving them up in case you ever came back to me. Not going to help Granny? Well, I'm disappointed. You better leave. Look around. There's a cameo of a young girl. It's her. 
Destroy it with the furnace. Says in one of her books it's the only way to get rid of her forever. I know the cameo don't look like her, but it's supposed to be her when she was young. That's where she gets her powers. Throw it into the furnace, burn the cameo, and you That's kill her. That's the best you can do, dearie. Well, it's not enough. Bones of the great Leviathan, protect me! You think you're going to save him? He's not worth it. Now Granny is going to kill you just like all the others. What will I write on your skull? That you were a fool! Now you'll see what I can do. It's too late for him, and it's too late for you. You will die, and I'll carve spells into your ribs. Okay, I am so sorry for ev for this massively random cut. But I just did this entire part with my mic muted without realizing, then I killed her! So that's nice. So, you know. So, pretty much, in, in order to do this correctly, I have to pause to describe this. Pretty much, that is Granny Rags and, uh, what's his face? Slackjaw. Granny Rags is the bad one in this situation. Your goal is to kill her. Or knock her out, in my case. And what I have to do is I have to steal the key, run up as fast as I can, I have to burn this cameo, which will pretty much not be make her be able to be knocked out. There's my No, no. Um, are you ready to help get Slackjaw's bones? Yeah. Granny has some birthday gifts for so, you. I've been saving them up in case you ever came back to me. Hi. No. Not going to help Granny? Well, I'm disappointed. You better leave. So, I have to sneak? Actually, no. It doesn't matter. I just have to get this. Eh. So, she's gonna summon a bunch of rats. I, d I need to figure out where they are. Because it's literally a giant swarm of them. You think you're going to save him? Okay. He's not worth it. Now Granny is going to kill you just where are they? like all Here they come, here they come. Okay, so put that in here. <laughs> then run. What's wrong? Can't you find me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can find me. So, did I destroy it? That's kind of gross. So, now I have to find her. See what I can do. It's too late for him, and it's too late for you. I did I did I burn it? I thought I burned it. Oh my god, really? Hide me from his view. Hide me. <laughs> ah, ah, rats. So once that's fully done. Okay. Now I can actually defeat her. Will die. An aisle card. And boop. <laughs> She's not dead, just unconscious. And I did it correctly. Now it's time to unlock Slackjaw. Unlock me. Wanna know something funny? When we were kids, we were all scared of Granny Rags. Thought she was a terrible witch. Then we grew up and figured she was just a sad old lady. We were right the first time. Now ain't that funny. I owe you. This won't even the score, but it's all I got left. Luck to you, Corvo. 
Thank you, man. Really? Now? Okay. Well, he gave me 600 gold for that. So now we just have to go to the return drain and leave. But before we do that, that's going to be... Well, I'm going to enter the room of... Oh my god. So before we enter that, I'm going to get all this stuff. And I am going to end the episode because this has been the longest episode in the whole series. And it's very irritating to me. So next time on Dishonored, we will be leaving. Hopefully, finally getting out of the Flooded District. See you guys then. You find your way into such interesting places, Corvo. At the eye of the storm, raging between granny rags and this man who has lived his whole life with a cleaver in one hand and a bottle in the other. Crawling out of those flooded ruins, winding your way back to the pub where you last saw Emily. Where is she now? How does it feel now, knowing your allies betrayed you? Strange how there's always a little more innocence left to lose. And Dowd, the man who killed the Empress. You had him in the palm of your hand, and you let him walk away? You fascinate me.